G'day listeners, uh, Hef here from the Keeper League podcast. Um, a few people have been asking me this for a while now, wanting to know how I scrape stats from Ultimate Footy. So um, usually the average draft position and also the ownership stats, um, these can come in useful when drafting, but also uh, the ownership stats come in useful when looking for waivers and finding players, um, I guess, that are not as not owned by many teams um, and that might be available on waiver pools and then you can have a look at their stats at the same time. So what I'm going to do is uh, run you through this tutorial now and uh, yeah, we'll take a look. Okay, on Ultimate Footy, I have pulled up a list of players um, from the All Players um, list um, in Ultimate Footy, just going to the player search. And what we want to do is we want to uh, find, I guess, um, the ownership percentage, percentage started, percentage drafted, and the ADP um, out of these players. So we want to basically grab this for every player in um, the competition um, that features on this list. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the page's uh, source code. Um, this basically shows you, I guess, the code that the uh, the website is written in um, and it has all the links and things like that in there in just plain text kind of form. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit until I find um, some player data. So for example, right here, this bit of data is um, Brad Ebert's. So that's basically his numbers there. So it's just telling me that um, Brad Ebert's there and he's, um, I guess he's got a URL here um, for each player, it's called um, slash um, players slash there's a number, then modal. So what happens is if I put that on the end of the ultimatefooty.com.au link, what it will bring me to is uh, this page here um, with some text on it. I mean, and all there is is text. Um, and it's where those numbers, I guess, are pulled from. So if you're going to be scraping anything, you're going to be looking around in the source code to see what you can find. Um, but basically... I found this link that has this uh, text. So basically what I want to do is I want to grab all these um, players slash number slash modal um, links. I want to grab all of these and basically scrape each of those URLs individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab all the links off this page using a, a Chrome extension called Link Clipper. So if I extract all the links, it will download them as a CSV file. If I double click on that CSV file, it will open up in an Excel document with all of the links to each of those players on the screen here. Okay, so now I have all of the links that were on that page. What I'm going to do is just click on data and then go from table range. And what it's gonna do is open this data that's on the page in Power Query now. All right, cool. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of anything that isn't a player. So basically anything uh, that features, I guess, this print list, I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go to a text filter and I'm going to um, filter anything um, that does not contain uh, print list is in that section. So I'm going to just get rid of print list. And I want to get rid of anything that includes news because um, that's basically a link to any kind of player info. So it does not contain, I'm going to filter out anything that contains um, news. So now I want to get rid of this uh, last one that says link. And to do that, I'll just go remove top rows and I'll remove the top row. All right, so we now have um, all the players' URLs, but if I load one of these in Google Chrome and have a look at it, we've got a page like this and it doesn't actually give us the ownership uh, the ownership uh, numbers and things like that. It gives us some other data that we might want to scrape, which might be useful for later, but we're trying to get those, um, I guess, those ADP numbers and those um, those ownership percentages. So going back to the source code before, we want the links that have modal after it. So it basically, it's the same as the player link, but it just adds modal um, and your league code to the end of it. So what I'm going to do is go back into Excel, into Power Query, and I'm going to add a custom column um, so add column, custom column, and I'm just going to take column one and put and after it text and paste in modal um, 85499 or whatever um, and press OK. So now I've got this link on the end here. Now if I take one of uh, these links, it should have that text page that we had before. 
Good. So now we've got a page with all the text on it. So what we need to do now is basically visit each of these links and grab that data off of it and organize it into a chart. But we don't want to have to actually copy and paste in every link, copy and paste it out. So we're going to write a function that does that. So we'll take uh, Jack Viney's for example. So um, the top one there, what I'm going to do, so I've already copied and pasted the link, but I'll do it again. So I'll copy and paste there. And I'm going to come up with a new query. And while we're here, actually, I might just rename that one to playlist. And I'm going to just do a new query now with another source from web. And I'm just going to copy and paste that Jack Viney um, link in. And it'll just connect. Okay, and I'm just going to click OK on that one. And I'm just going to click the gear next to the source up here. And I want this to display as text. So it... All right, cool. So now, if we go back to the page of Jack Viney um, and we inspect, um, view the page source of this page. So I'm just going to search through, because I know he's 98% owned through looking at this. So 98% owned. All right, here. So in between this H4 um, tag here and up here where it says um, percentage owned as well, I found the text that I need. So basically, these figures I can see are within a H4 tag. Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically filter out anything that is within a H4 tag. I might also try to grab um, his, so anything that's within a H4 tag, I might grab everything with it, which is in, uh, in between a P tag as well, so a paragraph tag there. So what I'm going to do is go to um, text filters and I'm going to grab anything that contains um, a h4 tag or contains a p tag so tags are just the the letters with the um brackets around it all right cool so now i've grabbed uh, his data i've got his um i think that's his ownership percentage i'll just go back and have a look yep ownership percentage started uh, percentage started uh, percentage drafted and his adp so what i'm going to do is i am going to just um Filter, I want to grab anything basically within um, these tags. So I'm going to get rid of the H4 and get rid of the um, and the uh, I'm going to get rid of the paragraph tag around that as well. So what I'm going to just do is go to um, transform and I'm going to extract and I'm going to extract text between delimiters and I want to grab everything that's between a uh, forward bracket and a back bracket there. So doing this should leave me just with those uh, numbers there. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is actually transpose these figures. And then I'm just going to rename this one uh, info. I'm going to rename this one uh, percentage owned. I'm going to rename this one and I'll just double check what the next column is. So the 91% is percentage started. So rename this column, percentage started. I'm going to rename this one, which was percentage drafted. Which leaves the last one as ADP. So ADP there, so his average draft position, drafted it. Pick 119, it's pretty late for what he put out in uh, round one. But anyway, so basically I wanna do this like little, uh, I guess, function here. So these applied steps to every one of um, the links that I got before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, um, basically, I'm, I'm going to turn this into what we call a function. So what this will do is, um, yeah, turn it into something that we can do for every URL. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, first of all, um, manage parameter settings. So I'm going to create a new parameter. And a parameter is basically like the URL we're going to take. So at the moment, it's taking a URL. We want it to be a variable so the URL can change each time. So I'm just going to call this um, parameter URL. The current value is uh, the page, this page here. So I'm just going to put that in there. Not that it really matters. Okay, so I've created a new parameter called URL. Now I want to change the source uh, of this one to be from a parameter. So at the moment, it's taking it from the URL. We want it to be from a parameter. So... I'm just going to change it to be um, the URL parameter. And this will 
add that in now. So what I can basically do from here, so if I was to change um, this parameter, so let's just say, let's grab Brody Grundy. Um, copy it from down here. Whoops. Copy it from down there. If I was to grab Brody Grundy, if I was to come back into that parameter, sorry, here it is. If I was to come back into that parameter and I was to edit this parameter and I was to change this to Brody Grundy's URL, it now tells me that Brody Grundy's Collingwood's uh, is a Ruckman 25. This is ownership percentage and all that sort of stuff. So, so this is showing us, uh, I guess, that it works on whatever URL we put um, into that parameter. So now what we basically want to do is we want to create a function out of this sheet. And I'm just going to call it um, get stats. Okay, and now we've got a function over here. So I'm going to come back to the playlist and basically we, we want to run that function on all of these URLs. So what I'm going to do, I might just delete that one because we don't need it anymore. So on these URLs, what I'm going to do is go to cust add column and then go invoke custom function and we're going to run um, it on, oh, it doesn't really matter what we call the name of it. Um, yeah, it won't call it anything. We'll go. We'll run get stats and we're going to use um, this custom column to be, I guess, the input or the um, the parameter, the URL parameter that we're taking from there. It's going to ask us whether we need to do some privacy stuff. I'm just going to ignore, let it just connect from my computer straight to it. And basically now we wait as it cycles through all those URLs and basically pulls out the stats that we want. So we'll just wait for that one to, to run. Okay, now that's completed, we can just expand this column. And I'm going to turn off uh, use original column name as prefix, otherwise it puts custom one in front of everything. And here we now have, um, I guess, the player's name we had before, all their links. For each one, we've got their ownership percentage. I'm just going to delete the link now because it doesn't really need it anymore because this is just saved as text. Okay, so this gives us a bit of a preview of what's downloaded. Um, what I'm going to do is just go close file, close and load, and this should load it into a spreadsheet for us. So it's created a spreadsheet for that one function, but if I go to sheet one, um, it's getting the data. And you'll see down the, uh, on the right here, it's uh, writing the low. So there's 820 or so players in the AFL. So we just have to wait till that loads all 800 players. And we might, uh, and we might wait for that one and we'll come back. And there we have it. We have all of the ownership data and the ADP and everything we can grab out of those um, ultimate footy URLs for every player in the competition. So basically that's how I scrape, um, I guess, the ADP stuff and the percentage owned for each player. I thought I'd share that with you all and uh, yeah, that's how the magic happens. Um, basically... You can now go ahead and do this yourself, but uh, as a part of our membership program, uh, we do all this for you so you can have all the data um, set up and we do different pieces of analysis and stuff like that with not just um, ownership percentages. We do things with, uh, I guess, total scores and player numbers and all sorts of things. We analyze trends, all that sort of stuff uh, on our membership page. So um, yeah, if you're keen to see or learn more about that, make sure you sign up and uh, yeah, enjoy.